Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to another round. Me doing shit. Uh, this time in Angular, we will be typing for three minutes as usual, and then we will do other stuff for thirty-five as usual again. So let's get into it. Oh, that's long. Okay. Hey, Nightlight. Oh, fuck. Okay, I would say. My sleep schedule is fucked up again, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> is to eat banana and then go sleep immediately right because I kind of eat a banana but I then I didn't go sleep so <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so a friend was calling. <sighs> da, 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 da. So stop this. 3%, that's and 35, that's pretty nice. 
fuck windows sometimes the moving of the windows doesn't work mm, pre-35 very good very good uh, how we are doing so far uh, well, not so well <laughs> all right that's good and uh, what we will be doing next i think I'll just continue in Angular. Also, I wanted to do the notification turn on. Okay, cool. And I did end up where? In the lifecycle hooks. That's this guy right now. That's the directive glossary. Yeah, and those were the hooks. Like changes on it and so on destroy and so on so maybe I, I could code this and there was this Live example. Where is it? Peekaboo. Maybe I want to download it because viewing it in a Projects Pro Study Angular. Extract. there yeah. right, there okay cool so I guess we will open it Is there a readme? Why there is not a readme? There should be a readme. But it's not. Okay, so we can start with the app module. There is a lot of shit. Interesting style of importing shit. This one is underlined because it's still not imported. Uh, we can have a look at those. And we start with the up component as usual. 
doesn't have much in there. Just the selector and the template. Oh, will it work yet? Yeah, it does work. Okay, cool. So there are some some shit here going on. Mm. That smells so nice. Oh, is it done? Is he done? And you were your available early. Um, that uh, looks like something I should do. It doesn't do anything. Control C. What? Go away. Control N. Hmm. Also, doesn't doesn't look like it works. Oh, I did. No, 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 I didn't. Control C, nothing. Control N, nothing. Control D, nothing. Escape, nothing. What the hell? What about this? Control C, nothing. Control D, nothing. Control N, nothing. What the fuck is happening in here? If I do close tab, it just does it. That's weird, man. Oh well, whatever. And PM install globally and PM. That was it, right? Uh, like everything behaves weird. Okay, maybe now it works. NPM install global NPM, yep. We just do that in here and meanwhile we can continue in here Ronnie singing okay now it should be okay right And they say that the peekaboo demonstrates every life cycle hook. And then we have this sub thingies. Now if I go into the application and look there, so we have the up component and then we have a have those right 
which are here's some routing okay cool and behind that we have uh, those and that is a parent okay so we can have a look what is in parent okay so okay Selector, sure, template. But here's the entire template. So we have a heading class parent for figure. Okay. Now we have a toggle child. Ah, huh, what the fuck is this? Okay, if has child, then. Destroy, create. Oh, that's oh, that's that's nice. I didn't know you can do that. This will be changing the label on a on a button. That's pretty cool. Um, so is it? Seven point fourteen. That's that's the one we did update to, right? Oh, fuck. Yep. Let's look like that. Seven point fourteen. Yep. Okay. And I want to run it. I want to run it and see how it how it's like. So we will go to console, uh, create a new one, and come on. Projects, study, Angular, lifecycle hooks. Okay. Ng serve. Open. It should run the application and open it for me when it's once it is running. It takes a, a bit all the time, every single time. Now, what do we have here? Oh, here we go. So here is the Create, now it will say destroy. It's still. Oh, the lock is just. Hmm. Okay. Great, update here. child and the toggle child this is a child 
is yeah sure it will be set to the opposite Storm, then we call this. What is what is that? Clear. Okay, so we just clear it. Sure. This log hook logs. What the fuck is that? Logger service. It just pushes the messages to it. Here is the counter for it. Message, we send the previous message. Ah, oh, so this is like we have the same thing, we just update the counter for it somehow. Sure, what this is, but that's my but might not be the point of all of this. So let's fuck the logs for right now. We do something with that. How do we do the pick? We just refresh. Then we have the update hero that is hidden based on this. Okay. Hmm. 
is it still like visible on the page if we do that and then uh, inspect this inspect so this after that one if we do destroy yeah it's just hidden like that um why we wouldn't do the ng if for it okay whatever Here we have an NGF as a child. Those things like this is binding, right? I'm not sure if you should touch it like this. Reset the value of input element as below, yeah sure, so you reset the, the value like that, but there's a problem, as he is hiding the diff that contains the input. Okay, so he's hiding that to show another button instead of showing the import button to click. Instead of showing the import button, to click the hidden input element manual. And previously, I had to use the ng if to show and hide the. What the fuck? I don't understand this. What do you? What the fuck do you mean? Okay, that was not helpful at all. 
So this is this is just so that's HTML hidden attribute, okay. That would be the angular way how to add this attribute. Okay, okay. And we have the ng height. Is set to the value in ball show and isn't set to the string push. Okay, so if we do hidden equal false.
Okay. Okay, so we did those things. We were looking at the hidden shit. And oh yeah, this is this is basically how it how it looks like. You see here is hidden. And when I click on it, it disappears. So I could see that. Yeah. That's that's what this does. Uh, this this thing over here that adds or removes that. What about this guy? We have the name. Uh, we created it. Uh, it will be what is written in here. Here is the oh. Oh, that's binding, right? There's a name. So if I, you know, yeah, it's here. This will be how to bind, like from. Sync edit is huh. you inside tag. Good, I like it. So we have this as child, and then we have the lifecycle hook inside of the info, which is class info, which will be the red background. All right, yeah. Uh, there was a, a way how to show like the colors. Why it doesn't show? The gutter. Interesting, but it's not what I wanted. I would swear that it was like, oh, whatever. But it would show the color somehow. And if I do this, yes. Is this background white? Why is it?
the fuck? I would expect it to be hold on. Uh, where is that? Here. Right. So expect that, 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 yeah, class info and background color. You see. Why is it not okay? Maybe this can tell me it's dot info. I guess that and dot info. Okay, so there is a like on two places definition of the of that style. Okay. So if I go here. The only occurrence in here, but maybe in the styles. It's not here. Where the fuck is it? It's coming from somewhere, I know it. Also, it doesn't show the colors here. Well, either way, uh, I have to go. So, I'll stop this, I'll stop 